Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. I want to get the energy up a little bit. Uh, I, I don't have to say anything. I've said everything. Um, but you guys, I hope you're all coming out tonight. Are you happy? Uh, don't have to be yet. I hope by the end of, by the time I stop talking, that you'll be happy. Uh, or you know, something like that. Anyway, so you know what the key to uh, a successful open mic night is, or <coughs> share the mic night is? No, no. Bring your own audience. <laughs> Who here came because I invited them? Hey. 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 See, see, guys, make friends. <laughs> you would think comedians would have an easier time, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, hi, my name is Dan, and I am. This is actually my very last night performing comedy in Jakarta, at least for the foreseeable future. Oh. Oh. Dan is just jealous because uh, we share a name. <laughs> he thinks he's got an extra A, but it's not. Anyway, so uh, I've been here for the past year, and I've actually been an English teacher for the past year, and I never actually thought I would ever be an English teacher. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, because I actually originally started out like studying politics, and uh, people kept on asking, like, you know, are you going to be a politician? And it's like, no, I'm not good enough at lying. This is why uh, this is why lawyers become politicians. But uh, then I ended up becoming a night manager at a hotel. That was pretty crazy. I saw all kinds of shit. I met all kinds of people. I uh, some famous people. Uh, I can't tell you the one about the famous R&B singer, but I can tell you about a man named Jared. All right, who has eaten Subway here before? Me. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Tentative hands up. You don't have to be shy. It's only Subway. Um, Subway is a sandwich company, and they like to advertise themselves as being marginally healthier than McDonald's. But the thing is that Subway, at one time, like 20 years ago, they had this uh, ad campaign in the U.S. that was saying, like, there was this guy who said, I used to be this fat, but after about a year, look at me now, I'm only a little overweight. Like, standard American, you know. But, uh, so he was doing, like, he used to be their spokesperson. He was their ad guy, he was the face of Subway. And he stayed at my hotel. I got to meet him a little bit, you know? This was, uh, about, like, 2010, so, and, and then, uh, a few years later, he, uh, well, he ended, he got uh, arrested for child abuse, child molestation, that sort of thing. And I, I always think back to, like, when I met him, because he seemed really friendly, we had a little conversation. And I told him, you know, Subway's got something right, you know? You're working for the right company because, uh, you know what they say? Eat fresh. <laughs> thing is, though, that, um, the thing is, like, because it's my last time doing comedy tonight, I wanted to make sure that you guys rem would remember my name. It's, uh, not the easiest. Thank you, Don. It's, uh, Daniel. What? But I also have a Vietnamese name. Uh, it's not the easiest. I've always wondered that like my the the problems of my love life came from like people not wanting to inherit my name. I wouldn't be able to pronounce it. It's the only the most common name in Vietnam, and uh, there's like 80 million of us in the world, and no one can pronounce it. I wanted to get some volunteers from the audience to try and pronounce this because, well, let's start with someone. My Londoner. Hello. Hello. Could you try, try and pronounce my surname right here, please? I can't see it. The last one. Yeah, no, not the top one. Fiok. The top one. Nyan Fiok. White people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try someone else. Let's try someone. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, you look a little. You look nice and like uh, Asian. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try this. Here, I'm going to look at this, this whole top part here. William Fock? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, so part of inviting your own audience is uh, inviting the right people. I, uh, I'm pretty lucky tonight that I got to invite one of my oldest friends in the whole world. We've known each other for like 20 years. And, uh, you know, we almost grew up together, together and all that stuff. We're going to find out if he's a very good friend. 
He, uh, he was a child, he was in my house when he would hear, he, you know, would hear my mom yelling for my, for my name. Johan, please. I think he went something like, you want what? Now I know we're not, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> so, um, it is Nguyen Phu. It's not Nguyen Fuck. <laughs> fuck might as well be the thing though, because it's, uh, here's the problem with Vietnamese names. I have a, my English name, Daniel, and Nguyen Phu is my surname. But I also have a Vietnamese name that my mother would call me. And this is the evidence of my life. This is the uh, problem. If you are Asian American, as I am, I was born in the States, it's uh, everybody in Asia, like all the Asian Americans in the US, they like to say like, oh man, grew up with such hard expectations because, you know, uh, my parents actually want me to succeed on like the white people. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's not over in Cannes. And we like to share this because it's just a difficult thing. And, um, yeah. And the thing is that like, I have the evidence that this is true. It's in my name. It's in my Vietnamese name. It's because uh, my Vietnamese name is Bao Hui. My uh, yeah, and uh, my mom would yell it across the house, Bao Hui. <laughs> and what it meant was uh, well, high expectations. It meant precious genius. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely uh, only precious. <laughs> Now that said, though there are there are weirder Vietnamese nicknames, uh, naming traditions. One of them is um, like my cousin, for example. He's his first name's Oliver. His Vietnamese name is Tien Ki, which sounds nice. It uh, means golden sky. No response. Okay, okay. You don't want to name like golden sky. All right, fine. You want to be called precious genius, obviously. <laughs> now, uh, but the thing is that ever since he was a baby, I remember from when he was a little little kid, we've been calling him Kuti. That means, well, small penis. <laughs> he's married now. His, uh, he's got a baby. I assume his wife uh, is happy. <laughs> I like to imagine, not literally, <laughs> when they're in bed, he's probably getting excited, you know, and going like, oh, say my name. <laughs> And she's like, small penis! <laughs> not the other one, oh, not that one, not that one. <laughs> not yet, anyway. <laughs> but uh, his brother, he's got, an, he's got one of those two. Uh, his name Brandon. His, uh, his Vietnamese name is Tien Zui, which means something like special gold or golden special in Vietnamese. But uh, ever since he was a baby, we've been calling him Gobi, which uh, means brown penis. <laughs> As if there's any other kind. Have you guys been to Vietnam? Anyone been to Vietnam? Woo! Uh, have you been to the war museum stuff, like in the tunnels? Yeah. In the yeah. yeah. Have you seen the size of those tunnels? Yeah. They are tiny. Yeah. <laughs> but we can fit. <laughs> you have to dig through the foliage, the jungle a bit, and you get in there. But they're not round tunnels. They're square shaped. <laughs> I guess size, shape is important as well as size. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I got cursed, you know, because uh, I figured Nugent Fuck might as well be the way I pronounce it because, you know, it's because uh, I had a nickname too. Girls don't get this, by the way. No one calls them the, like special vagina or anything like that. You know why? Because all vaginas are special. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Jesus, it's apparent. <laughs> But the um, the thing is that like I had one of those nicknames too, and it um, it's weird to me that my parents raised expectations like that, not just for my normal name, but also with my nickname. Because uh, well, echoing through the halls of my childhood was my mom yelling across the room, "Goo hui!" I don't know if you guessed it by now. My nickname was uh, Genius Penis. <laughs> Now, I don't know about anybody else's penises tonight. Would you call yours a genius? Oh, wow, okay, nobody. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm alone up here. Now, the, uh, the thing is that it's a bit, it's kind of raising the expectations, you know? But I think it's a good dream for the future, you know? One day I'll get married. 
one day maybe I'll have a kid, just like my cousin, and maybe I'll get a little excited, you know. If I get into the moment, I'll say, oh, honey, say my name. And it'll just be Daniel. <laughs> Thanks again for, uh, for tonight, guys. It's been good. Thank you, Noah Comedy Club.